Hello everyone, uh, this is Retrock here. I'm going to be going over the brand new Grounded Shroom and Droom... Uh, can't even speak. Shroom and Doom update trailer coming out June 30th. This is a very interesting update. Lots of stuff here. And I would just like to start this video before we watch all of this by saying May 28th, the devs did put out a letter where they showed a whole bunch of stuff there. Uh, such as some flipped building pieces that allow you to flip like spiral staircases, more building pieces as well, like half walls and posts. Uh, the food can be in different locations, photo mode, and they also showed the Arc R, which is a tasty variant. And they showed it to be in what appears to be a haze lab. I don't know how true that is, but I feel like on top of all the stuff in this video, I just like to say that I feel like all of this stuff in the letter as well, which I will have in a card or linked in the description, uh, is also going to be in this update. So this update is going to be even bigger than we all think it is. So yeah, I'm going to start with this trailer and then we'll go through and pick out all of the small things you might have missed. In the first year of Grounded, Millions of players kept busy with crafting, fighting, the pond, zip lining, flying things. Now, to celebrate, we present the Shroom and Doom update. It gives the people what they've been asking for, like sitting. No, seriously, a lot of people want to sit. Pets for when you get sick of your human companions. And of course, mushrooms. But not those kinds. We've also got something that literally no one was asking for. The brood mother. She's so terrifying. You should probably turn on arachnophobia mode. Oh, even her blob scares the sh out of us. Go big. Or never go home. Oh, and it looks like we added achievements too. Nice. So as you can see, a lot of stuff they added here. June 30th is when this is coming out. So we're going to go back through and we're going to look at some of this stuff. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you might have missed. Small features hidden in the back. Uh, I found all of these by going at times five speed, times five, times 0.5 speed through the whole video. So the first thing, we're going to actually slow it down right now just so that I don't miss this because it goes by so quick. Millions of players kept busy here we go so as you can see there's a lot of stuff in this screenshot or this scene that you might not recognize we're gonna start here at max max is wearing a full set of what appears to be like a spartan or barbarian armor my guess is this is going to be roly polies roly polies were in the planned section of the grounded feature board which will be in a card above and linked in the description roly polies are a planned creature and my guess is they will be in the haze if they add the haze lab. My guess is they will be there. So this is going to be like the roly-poly armor is my guess. You can see Max is also holding a crossbow, which is really, really cool. Because there's a new type of bow. I'm not sure exactly what this would be made of. Maybe this looks like bone, fish bone here. Maybe we can use some rope, silk rope. Uh, maybe this is like acorn or something. I'm not exactly sure what that would be made of, but that's really cool. Gonna move over to Willow. Willow's got what appears to be a weevil shield here and bee armor. So you might think that's it. But then you look in Willow's right hand and there's this giant weapon. You'll see a little later that this weapon is absolutely massive compared to any other dagger that we have. So my guess is this is either gonna be something to do with the Broodmother, maybe like a Broodmother Fang, similar to how we have Wolf Spider Fangs, or maybe this is just gonna be the Roly Poly weapon, because they does have similarities to the armor. Moving over to Hoops. Hoops is wearing ladybug armor, which isn't new. She's got a bee spear, which isn't new, but you look at her head. She's got a sun hat on. This sun hat looks pretty cool. I don't know exactly what buff this is going to apply to the player. This seems more like a uh, like a cosmetic type of thing, which 
I don't mind. I find this really cool, especially if you're playing multiplayer with friends. You get to show them your cool hat. Finally, over to Pete. Pete has a lot of stuff on him. He's got a full set of black ant armor. This almost confirms the black ant are coming to the game. They've been rumored for a wire, a wire. I can't speak. Rumored for a while. Lots of people have wanted them. So this looks really cool. This is the black ant armor. And you see he has a different shield here than Willow. So this is my guess that this is going to also be the roly poly shield. My guess is it's going to be stronger than the black or not the black ant than the weevil shield. It looks like it's almost reinforced with these little strings here. And it's a circular shield as opposed to the the um, the shape of the Weevil Shield. I'm not sure exactly what shape that would be. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this scene alone. And a whole bunch of the stuff we've already kind of been told that they've added. As I mentioned, the feature board. They do have on the feature board additional weapon types. So this might be something that they're talking about when it comes to this sword or this crossbow. I'm going to keep it slowed. Just because right here, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. You see the normal spinners, which we have. This appears to be a smoothie station, so you might think, oh, that's it. But then you look to the left side. The, what appears to be a kin or a furnace, and what, in my opinion, looks like it's almost like a filter or something like that. And again, feature board says that they want to add additional crafting stations, so I believe that's what these are. And if they're anything like the normal spinners, we're going to need a whole room in our base for them, so you better start expanding now. Um, my guess is that this has something to do with the mushroom buildings. Uh, I think that you're going to be able to chop down the big mushrooms and toss them in the kin. And maybe uh, once they go into the kin and they come out, they're hardened so that they'll be easier to uh, build with. Maybe that's what will allow you to build stronger walls. And then this, I'm guessing you're going to put small mushrooms and sap in here. It looks like it's going to be filtered into almost like a paste. And the paste might be used as like a grout to go between the bricks to build the walls, which I think would be really cool that we have brand new things to uh to build these walls with crafting as you can see here pete with the what appears to be the weevil shield the roly poly armor and the mosquito needle Fighting. the bond zip lining flying things now to this shows that we have fireflies in the location where they actually are supposed to be. So hopefully this is true and the spawns are fixed. Because if you know now, they are only spawning past the haze, up by the drain pipe, and on top of the hedge. And you have to go to some extreme methods if you want the goop to build the little hanging lights. Like the, I know the YouTuber Rudar, he built a whole t um, bridge up on top of the haze just so he could farm these things. So hopefully that gets fixed and these are become a little more accessible. Celebrate. We present the Shroom and Doom update. It gives the people what. They As you can see here, we have these posts that we've seen in the letter from the developers in May. So these were shown in one of the pictures, but we get a bit, bit of a clearer view of them here. And they look like they. We could use them. I don't know exactly what you would use them for, but they look like it's just a singular post. If you think of how the door frames are, it would just be one side of that. It looks a little thicker too. They've been asking for like sitting. So you can see we have a berry leather chair. Pete is sitting in it. Uh, sitting was confirmed about two weeks ago in one of the dev streams, but it's nice to actually see how it looks. And this looks really cool. Pete's looks very comfortable in this chair. I hope that this gives us the ability to either regain like health or stamina or something by resting in the chair. That could be cool. So that instead of just sitting for no reason, you actually have a reason to sit. And then that would give also a reason to upgrade to these chairs instead of just using the, the cheaper ones. No, seriously, a lot of people want to sit. Pets for when you get sick of your human companions. As you can see, Willow is here looking at an aphid. This is an aphid pet. Pets were also on the feature board. Insect pets phase one, which is aphids. So if this is phase one, there's obviously going to be more pets than just aphids. You can tell this is a pet. It's not running away from her. Aphids always run from you. So this is really cool that we actually get to have up close encounters with the aphids now. I hope that they add something similar to a doghouse or something like that so we can keep the aphids in our room next to our beds 
or we can even maybe industrialize them by having aphids locked in our room. And if we have a bunch of them, maybe it'll be like an aphid honeydew farm or something. That could be really cool. Could keep a room in our base just for that. And of course, mushrooms. If you saw right there, I'm going to back it up just a second, a little farther. It's just a normal insect axe that they use to chop down these mushrooms. Course, so people mushrooms. were talking about a tier 3 axe, but I don't think that it's going to be that. I think it's just going to be the tier 2. You can see there's a whole bunch of different types of building pieces that we have. We have flat walls here, half walls, curved walls. Even It's hard to see back there, but I believe that is almost like a hobbit door. It looks really cool, like with acorn looks like an acorn it's a very circular door that looks cool and we also have like these half arches as well and this is really cool i was about to build a castle in my world but i'm gonna wait until i have this because this would be so much cooler than an actual castle i hope we get mushroom foundations as well so everything goes together but i guess we'll just have to wait and see but we also see here we have a mushroom in a garden. Instead of just the small mushrooms, we have the big mushrooms in the garden, which is really cool because now we will be able to essentially farm our own building materials in our base instead of having to go out and collect them like we normally do. Uh, so I will for sure be expanding my current mushroom farm. I'll probably be doubling or tripling it. I only have one right now that has the small mushrooms, produces about 100 a day. So that's obviously great, but I'm going to be expanding it so I can be getting these big, big mushrooms. I can be collecting these so that I can build my castle. But not those guys. We see Max is approaching the broodmother's den here. This appears to be in the hedge. Uh, my guess is it's either going to be where the old broodmother was a long time ago, which was the frisbee as you approach the, um, the hedge lab, or it's going to be in the far back corner. And I just hope... That the broodmother doesn't wander like other spiders do. Because if I'm out farming some berry leather and I run into this thing unprepared, uh, I, I don't think I'm going to be making it out of there alive. We've also got something that literally no one was asking for. If we stop here, oh, I missed it by half a second. Or... I missed it again. I'm just going to slow it down here. Oh, not subtitles. Speed. I'm going to slow it down right or... here. We look at the size of this. This is the dagger, that, or the sword that I was talking about earlier that Willow was holding. This thing is massive. This is a lot bigger than the normal daggers that we have. So I think this is going to be like a more of a upgraded version of it. Maybe a tier 3 even. Uh, again, it looks like it possibly could be roly-poly or even a broodmother like fang or tooth or something. The you can see mother. obviously the broodmother is absolutely massive and she does She's have so those terrifying. fangs on her keep missing because everything's going by so quick missed it again i want to pause so and show this sh the sheer size of this thing max is the size of the broodmother's head if you think about how big that would be in game it's absolutely massive so my guess is even with a whole bunch of smoothies and full ladybug armor you're still going to be one shot by this thing i don't see how we're going to kill this unless there is a buff to like bows or something we could use gas arrows and smoke it out that's my only guess i don't i don't see how we're going to survive this very easily this is definitely going to be an end game boss you should probably turn on arachnophobia mode this seems like a good idea i might have to do this when i'm in the hedge even the hedge or i can't speak when i'm in the hedge and even as you saw there the little blob not little blob big blob still pretty scary I'm going to slow it down here once more. I can't slow it down because the thing's there. Can I? Yeah, I can do this. This is the best way I can do it here. The obsidian logo's in the way. Go home. I'm going to pause it right here. This is the last thing we see Pete with the cross, but we get a better view of it here. Uh, this is looks to be where the outlet is right here with the apple core where the spawn and it looks like they're going into the hedge probably to fight the brood mother they look underprepared with no armor but I, I guess we'll see how that goes for them now they mention here at the end that they are adding achievements oh, as well that's only for xbox i play on pc too. so that's not really anything nice. big for me but for all of you xbox players 
there's achievements for you now. And as you can see, June 30th. So the today, today that I'm recording this and that it was released is the 13th. The 30th is two weeks from now. It'll be on a Wednesday, last day of June. So this is really exciting. If there's any features that I missed in this video that you guys have caught, please put them down in the description. I'd like to see those. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. If you really enjoyed this, uh, like and subscription would be appreciated. Uh, have a good day, guys.